that the Trailblazers? It's been a while. I didn't think you'd be back in Bellabox so soon. It's been pretty hectic in the city lately. All these people dressed in black suddenly showed up, and even the Silvermane guards have had trouble dealing with them. Do you need my opinion? I'm happy to help. So that's who they are. Uh, it's worse than I imagined. The Madam Guardian must be under a lot of pressure. Is there really nothing we can do to assist her? We are here to gather everyone's opinion on the matter. I know this is a little sudden, but we're running out of time. What's your take? Why, I'd refuse the contract, of course. There is no room for compromise. Just look at them. Arrogant, stomping around here as if they own the place. How can such people be trusted? Who's to say they won't breach the contract? Faced with this sort of coercion, we must resist them with all our might. Surrendering is not an option. You must warn the Madam Guardian not to allow herself to fall into their trap. A soldier's perspective is always valuable, Dunn. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. We meet again. How have you two been? Uh-oh. That look on your face tells me something's wrong. I hope it's nothing too serious. Sounds serious. I'm all ears. Really? You better not be making things up. I wish it were made up. Unfortunately, it's all true. We don't have much time, Pela. Branya wants to get everyone's opinion. Wait, you're telling me I have to make this huge decision on the spot? At least give me a few seconds to think it over. <sighs> okay, I think I've got it. If it were up to me, I'd probably agree to the IPC's conditions. Huh. Okay. Any particular reason? I've looked at some of the climate reports, and based on the data I've seen, it'll take three or four more generations for the snow to completely subside. And that's assuming no other disasters occur. I care more about those in the present than a future I can't be sure of. If the IPC is able to bring about immediate change, then... I think that's a price well worth paying. Building a better world for future generations sounds great, right? But is it any fun for the engineers and architects who are directly involved in such a pursuit? I see. So compared to a distant and uncertain future, what you really care about is making sure the people around you have a good life. Thanks for your input. Careful. I'll make a note of your opinion. Careful now. Don't get your clothes wet. Well, well, look who we have here! You and Marge paying us a visit. What's the occasion? Uh-oh. Sounds like something serious is happening. You'd better fill me in. What? How is that possible? <sighs> I need a moment to wrap my head around this. Serval, we're racing against the clock. No time for head wrapping. <sighs> it's okay. I've thought it through. If it were up to me, I'd sign the contract. What? Hold on, are you serious? I thought you'd be against it for sure! Surprised? My reasons are pretty simple. Signing this contract would mean we no longer have to worry about surviving. For most of the residents here, especially those in the underworld, that would be more than enough to persuade them. As for working for the company, 
People need to work no matter where they are, right? If the IPC tries to take too many liberties, we can always rise up against them. You know, I've always longed for the stars since I was a child, which is why I devoted myself to science and the studying of the Stellaron. If someone told me that I could do whatever research I wanted with only a small price to pay, I probably wouldn't hesitate. Yeah, but imagine that you're, you're now in Korea, so trying to do her best to try to make the best choice. I see. I suppose that makes sense. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Uh, did we miss anyone in the overworld? I think we asked just about everyone we needed to. From what I've gathered, it seems like most people in the overworld are leaning towards signing the IPC's contract. Last I checked, we didn't ask Natasha or Hook. Or Great Black Hook. What was her title? <sighs> We'd better hurry to the underworld and see what Natasha and Zila make of it all. <laughs> I just mentioned her. Where did she go? What brings you two to the underworld? And why the long face? Seems a little out of the blue, but... Since you came all this way, it must be urgent. Go ahead. <sighs> that is a lot of information to take in. Sorry, both of you. I, I know you're in a hurry. But I need a moment to think. No stress, Nat. Just tell us what you really think. <sighs> I've thought about it, and, well, if I were Branya, I wouldn't sign it. I won't deny the offer on the table is a very tempting one. And if we refuse, Bellabog will not only have the burden of a huge debt, we may also incite the wrath of a very powerful force. But even so, a quote I read back in school came to me just now. Those who are willing to give up freedom for security will end up with neither. Living in the underworld has taught me that this phrase is true. I'd rather trek through the frigid snow plains than live in a beautiful cage. Wow, that's a pretty convincing argument. Another vote for the against pile. Thanks for your insight, Nat. <laughs> None other than the saviors of Bellabog. To what do I owe the pleasure? To be honest, I'm surprised you even remembered an old geezer like me. <laughs> but I can tell by the look on your faces you're probably not dropping by to say hi. Let me guess. Something to do with these unruly people in black showing up everywhere? Well, ask away. It just so happens I'm curious about them myself. Maybe I can be of some help. I see. That's a tricky situation, all right. A lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone as young as Lady Bronya. Mr. Oleg, out of all the people we know in Bellabog, you have the most life experience. What do you think we should do? Want to hear the truth? I'm afraid great ambitions and lofty plans no longer hold much appeal for an old-timer like me. If this IPC does indeed possess the magical power to restore Bellabog back to its former self overnight, then I think the answer is clear. Have you considered the opposite? What about if we refuse? The reconstruction plan already sounds like an endless endeavor. And with the added burden of a massive debt, well, is that something we can manage on our own? What worries me the most is how Lady Branya will handle the backlash from her people. Will she be able to withstand the criticism? Is she prepared to carry the weight of a tarnished reputation for years to come? I 
I think so too, but could you imagine having to hear names like the traitorous ruler for the rest of your life? Thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Oleg. Another vote for the four pile. Miss March, big sister, what brings you to the underworld? Hey there, Clara. Uh, is Sparog not around? Mr. Sparog went out for a walk with a lady called Topaz. What? Topaz? Do you know where they went? Uh, I'm not sure, but Mr. Sparog promised he'd be back soon. Uh, what now? Sparog's super logical. We should definitely get his opinion. True. Don Hung's always saying that Clara's really insightful for her age. Huh? Miss March, do you want to ask me something? Hmm. Uh, that's complicated. I don't know what to say. It's all right, Clara. No pressure. Just tell us how you feel about it. Hmm. I... I think if we have a choice for the future, it should be everyone's decision. Because when I was playing with Hook, the moles, and the other kids, we talked about our dreams. Everyone has different dreams. If we accept Miss Topaz's offer, then doesn't that mean our dreams will never come true? Just taking away people's dreams like that. I don't know. It feels wrong. You're right. Children see the world as a place where anything is possible. Oh, just the thought of our lives being predestined from birth makes me shiver. Thanks, Clara. Your thoughts mean a lot to us. Why are you sending me? <sighs> All that running around has worn me out. So, the final conclusion is... The votes are completely even! Uh, I don't know what to do. Both sides have really compelling arguments. Alright! We have an Asdila! She's probably still in the Great Mine helping the miners. Come on, let's get going! Back so soon? Any news? Are, are you feeling alright? You look a little uneasy. <sighs> Important matter, huh? I can tell from your tone that this isn't gonna be a lighthearted chat. But, I'm ready to hear it. <sighs> I... I think I get it. At first, I thought it was just a few IPC ruffians overstepping their boundaries. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? Right. I... I need a little time to process this. As it stands, the votes are even. Your opinion will make all the difference. Really, you have to say that. In that case, I, I abstain. What? Huh? I thought about it. This responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders. Not mine. No matter the choice she makes, she has far greater foresight than I do. She can see the bigger picture more clearly than I can. The vote is tied. If I were to give you my view, it would tip the scales and possibly impact her final choice. I'll respect whatever decision she makes, but... It's not my place to make it for her. Understood, Dila. This is a difficult decision to make. 
and everyone feels differently about it. It's times like these that a leader must stand up and do what's needed. Right. It's Branya's decision. She knows what's at stake. She won't run away from her duty. I trust her wholeheartedly. If she asks you, just let her know my reasoning. She'll understand. Uh, well, it's all in Branya's hands now. She has to make the final call. Right? I'm glad Bellabog has someone like her in charge. Uh, the time has come. Let's go fill her in. I'm curious to see how she's handling those Klopoth ministers. Whoa, the fort's packed! I've never seen this many people here before. Oh, jeez, I can barely even hear myself think. We're doomed. Please, How could you? Down, will you? March, you're back. So, what's the verdict? What do the people think? We talked to people in both the overworld and the underworld. The final result was a tie. Uh, I see. I suppose everyone has their own way of seeing things. I can't say I'm surprised. What was Zila's perspective on the matter? I should have known. That sounds like Zila, all right. Did you come to a conclusion with the ministers? Oh, it's so loud I can't tell what anyone's saying. It's pretty much the same situation here. Neither party is willing to compromise. The time has come to make a decision. This chaos cannot be allowed to continue any longer. All of you, I know what to do. Wait, <gasps> what is she doing? Have something to say to the Supreme Guardian. Uh, but uh, aren't you? Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Oh, don't you dare tease us, Hoyabas. Miss Himeko, from the Astral Express? I... It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous... campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the Architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite... exceptional. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. What kind of plot twist is gonna come up? I hesitate to call it a solution, but I might have some information that might help. It is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as the Supreme Guardian to make a wise and informed decision. Information? Please, tell me what you know, Miss Himako. Yeah, please, I'm very curious how you come to that. I have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true. Which is why she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. Okay, but wait, when did we tell you about Topaz? Okay, this is a little plot hole because you decided to stay behind. There's no way that somehow, I don't know, Seven sent you a DM and said, Oh yeah, we have to deal with this Topaz character. 
Okay, so her backstory is so bad. I can sense that twist. But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. You mean... Performing ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. Mm, kind of 50 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. She's undoubtedly one of the most capable people in her field. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himiko. This information is of great help. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. Now that you've decided, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. Astral friends, I have an idea, but for it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city, and then I'll meet with Topaz again. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. Stay safe, everyone. Chapard should be waiting for us in Rivet Town, right? Here we go again. Back to our old stomping grounds for another adventure. The Supreme Guardian has briefed me on the situation and asked that I assist you in locating Topaz. Ready to enter Rivet Town? We'll go in together when everyone is set. Keep your guards up. We might run into IPC agents ahead. Destination reached. Well, would you look at that. Huh. I never would have guessed it'd be here. But I don't see any mech or weapons. This place is completely surrounded by mountains. Surely they, they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. No wonder we couldn't find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Wait a minute. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means... 
The architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. The architects used the IPC blueprints to construct replica automatons. However, the overwhelming majority of the combatants, commanded by Elisa Rand, were human. I see. The stories about this world are truly captivating. I would like to ask you a question, Topaz. <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? <sighs> yes. I've gone through countless case studies, and they all point to the same conclusion. Any world that comes into contact with the Stellaron is doomed. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand. But sooner or later, the underlying problems will resurface. A looming crisis can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity, unnoticed by many. Understood. Understood. That's it? You don't have any thoughts on the matter? Emotional readings indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is all I wish to confirm regarding this matter. While my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours, it ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool, not a decision maker. <laughs> if only my colleagues had the same self-awareness as you. Come on, Numbi. We've got some assessing to do.